I don't know if you guys can see this. Um, the light here in my room is a little dim. Looks like the sun is trying to come out, but it's been kind of overcast um, most of the day and yesterday. I also apologize for my voice. I am suffering from allergies or I'm getting sick. <laughs> so it sounds like I got cotton stuck up my nose. But I wanted to do this um, short little um, video on what I was fiddling around with um, yesterday and the day before um, Friday. I um, love camouflage and I think you guys, I think I might have mentioned this before in some of my other videos and this is just a couple of things that I have acquired over the time. The paper for this background, um, the scrapbook papering. I don't scrapbook but I do have the paper because it is camouflage. My camouflage bangle that I bought, I don't know where, might have been rainbow or somewhere some time ago. It's actually very old, this bangle. And it's camouflage. And these um, earrings as well are camouflage hearts, actually. And I got these at actually Dollar Tree some time ago. Or Deals, I'm not sure. I think it, no, it was Dollar Tree. And it is your standard camouflage. Of course, all you guys know that camouflage comes in all different kinds of colors. Um, but this is the standard army camouflage and I found several videos here on YouTube um, giving tutorials on how to do camouflage nails um, so I kind of was tinkering around and I um, did them on both of well two nails on one hand and then I also did also uh, two nails on the other hand my right hand I'm not sure if you can see it I used different kind of polish just kind of like seeing what kind of effects would give the best effects. I actually like all of them. The polish that I, the green polish, the lighter green polish that I used is a bit brighter on this nail. These nails on this hand, on the right hand, other than on the left hand. On the left hand I used these products, these Avon products. Um, all of them Avon products except the top coat which was by LA Colors and I showed you um, where I bought it from Dollar Tree not too long ago they're selling some nail treatments this is the rapid dry top coat by LA Colors um, I use for the base coat or the main color um, Avon um, Nail Wear Pro in 905 I'm not sure if you can see that it is olive green it's a very dark like olive green or forest green and I really hadn't used it a lot but I love the color I'm a big green person green is one of my favorite colors if not my favorite color and I hadn't really believe it or not really used it but I wanted to find uh, find a, a look or a design to use it in I mostly used this color this is the most colored green this is a lighter green it's by Avon and it is 903 it is jade it is jade it's a light green really pretty this is the one I've used the most and this is the this is the, the highlight color in the nail the green the lighter green so when you do a camouflage a standard camouflage you're gonna have a base color which I chose this darker green you're gonna have a lighter green and then you're going to have a brown, which is by Avon, and it is Vintage Bouquet uh, 533, a really pretty brown. I've seen a similar color by Central Colors, which is called Nirvana. And since I was not able to buy that at one time, I found the almost identical color in Avon color. And it is Vintage Bouquet. I really, really love this brown. And if you guys can remember, this particular brown was very, very popular, I think, last fall. And you saw a lot of nail uh, colors uh, or nail designs using a brown such as this. Um, also, you're going to need another accent, accent color, which is black. And Avon has a very pretty black, basic black. Uh, mine is Shimmer. It's called Licorice, but I don't have that in my possession right now. So I used a Wet n Wild um, black, a plain, plain black and black cream. 
and yeah, and I don't know the number, 424AP1 is the color that I used. It's optional, you can use a brush, which I did to, as you can see, the black polish is still on there and it's kind of dried, I need to clean it. Um, to kind of go in as you can see as anyone knows camouflage is very random So it doesn't have to be perfect. You kind of go in with the lighter green And you paint your nails the dark green you go in with the lighter green it can be very splotchy very random um, You let that dry for a little bit um, You kind of go over it you're kind of layering a little bit and then you go in with the brown you know, and you can use it just as is, or you can use a brush, this brush or any other kind of uh, smaller brush, and kind of go in and kind of layer over a little bit over the green, the lighter green, and then let it dry a little bit if you want, and then you go in with your brush and um, the black and kind of highlight, go in between the lighter green and the brown. And then that's pretty much it. And then you're going to seal the deal with a, a top coat. I, I like the fast drying top coat, um, whether it be Sally Hansen, which has a, a nice line of uh, rapid dry or um, quick dry that I buy quite frequently, or this new one, LA Colors Rapid Dry. On the other hand, on my right hand, I kind of was experimenting today, and I used some colors um, by Ruby Kisses. I used actually a shimmery uh, green, um, kind of like playing around in millionaire, millionaire, millionaire green. And I also used another one that's also one of my favorites that I've used quite a bit in my nail designs is by Ruby Kisses. It's called Tropical Green. It is a fluorescent green, um, and I use that primarily on this hand. Um, and then a brown that's an alternative to the Avon one. I use clean colors, a nail lacquer, and cappuccino. And it's basically a chocolatey brown. It's a bit lighter than um, the Avon color, um, but it's a brown nonetheless, very pretty, and I use the wet and wild. Some people in other videos they've used a nail uh, striper or a nail like the LA Colors, I think it's LA Colors Nail um, Art Deco. Um, they can, You can use that too and you don't have to worry about using, um, you know, a nail brush. It already is built in and you can get that at your local dollar store. You can kind of play around with it. Um, so yeah, that's how I achieved this look and there are several videos here on YouTube showing different methods. Some people seal the deal with, um, instead of a rapid nail dry um, top coat, they've used a matte to give that matte uh, look. Um, it's fast drying, but it's matte. I forget which brand. There's different variations, and you can just um, design it to your own taste. I do hope in the future to do a different one instead of army green, do greens and browns and khakis. Just do it in blue do it in pink, um, different shades of pink, and stuff like that. So, if you guys do your own um, camouflage, um, you know, nail art, I, I would love to see it, and you can maybe submit it um, to this one as a video response, and I would love to check it out and get some ideas we can compare, um, compare ideals. For you fellow camouflage lovers, I love it. I have shirts, I have bags, I had I had pajamas and whatnot. So I'm a big camouflage lover. I love it in the basic green, army green, but I also like it in all the other colors. Pink, I have black, different shades of black and gray. That's another good nail tutorial um, that I might be looking into. Um, as I, as you all know, I'm a big Avon lover. And their products, especially their nail products, are very, very good. I, I really love them. They have a wild, a wild gamut of colors and formulas for those who like shimmer, glitter. They have a new glitter line out, and I think I talked about that. So, yeah, that's my camouflage nails look. 
using Avon as well as Ruby Kisses in Clean Colors, Wet n Wild, and LA um, Rapid Dry.